man, I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble remembering the names of these old old games that I like only played or watched people play and never played myself. All right, develop. It's gonna be ready to. Cost zero. That's interesting. It's gonna be a werewolf adventure, and it's going to be for the tests, and it's going to be called. Werewolf The first The first um hmm. the, the the first Hmm The first fighter. Alliteration is key. Alright, there we go. Werewolf, the first fighter. That'll be a fun game. I'm sure it will. Oh, I missed a golden opportunity to throw in my title. I'll change it. I'll, I'll change it when we get back there. I got it. Alright. So let's. This, this needs a bit of a story behind it. Gotta explain why he's a werewolf. Today, Ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Compared to the PCs and other gaming consoles, the Gameling is underpowered, but even the lowest cost and excellent probability it might find a huge following. The Gameling is head to the Gameling is said to hit shelves next month. Had a bit of trouble talking there. Alright. So we need dialogue, apparently. Let's lower this. Because I feel like level design is important as well. But intelligence isn't always needed by AI. AI can be dumb. It's, it's allowed. Uh, we definitely want to increase graphics and sound a bit and decrease world design. Just a tiny, just a tiny bit, just a tad. Uh, we need to get 50 research points so we can finally get the customs going. Because if I remember correctly, that unlocks quite a bit of research opportunities. Anything else? Today, the new game platform Gameling by Ninvento has been released. I forgot how quick time goes in this game. All right. We're going to edit the name, and it's... We're just going to change one little bit. It's a werewolf! Alright, let's release it. Werewolf. The first fighter. The first release for our new release game. Werewolf, the first... Oh, what? Why didn't it change? Why didn't it change? I'm offended. Yeah, it falls a bit short because the name's wrong. Man, yeah, because the name's wrong. Wasted time because the name's wrong. Yeah, let's see, I saw better when I had a niche to it. Screw you! That would have been a success. Let's generate a report. I'm upset. Screw you, you're not the real game. You're, you're a knockoff. You're a bootleg. You're not the game I made. I made Werewolf, not Werewolf. Dick. Our post-release analysis of Werewolf, the first fighter, is complete, and we got the following results. Werewolf and Adventure is an okay combination. Engine seems to be not important for this type of game, and platform genre match test and adventure bad. Apparently. I mean, I thought it could be an adventure. Alright, so now we should research casual games. Um... Let's do some contract... Whoop, that was a weird noise. Okay. I don't know what happened, but my computer made a weird noise and it scared me. Let's do some contract work to make us some manis. And... No, no, go back over. Uh, let's go with the middle one. I feel like we can do that. Pump out those points. 
Maybe. I hope so. Oh, geez. It's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close, but we got it. We got it. I believe in us. You can do it, Sid Mayer. With the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. New research. Marketing. Oh, just research points. Boom. Or tech points, sorry. Success. All right. Jason here. I just got word from the client that the contract was a complete success. Excellent work. Usually, I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. All right. That didn't get as many research points as I wanted, so I think... I think we're just going to have to develop a game based off the topics we have. So let's do... Let's do... I'm in... Hmm. Let's do. Let's go back to our roots, and let's do a school <laughs> RPG, and we're gonna make it for the PC, and we're gonna get back to our roots, and we're gonna make it a text-based adventure. All right, and it's going to be a school game. Hmm. I'm gonna have to reach here with the theme a little. Uh, it is going to be called... Whoa, what happened? Oh, I right-clicked. It is going to be called... Hmm. Sid Mayer's... Let's make it a school simulation instead of an RPG. And it'll be called Sid Mayer's Student Students. Yeah. Sid Mayer's Students. Next. I I next. And let's let's not do text-based. Simulators need to be at least 2D, so let's do that. Werewolf the First Fighter is now off the market. It sold that much and generated that much in sales. Alright. Know that. Let's let's do that. Alright. Level design is apparently pretty important. Lower you and raise you. Just raise them all up a little bit. I know the bar, like, doesn't matter, but let's. I feel like it does. Oh, man. Almost at the research points needed. Alright, so. Let's increase world design a bit. Let's, let's do that almost equal, but we're still focusing a bit on graphics. Alright, gotta work out those bugs. See if we get any... Oh, goal hint! If you have more than one million in cash, you will be able to move to the next level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get there easily. I hope so. Industry news. Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the Gamelink from Ninvento. A spokesperson for the company said, Unlike similar games on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Venegear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Venegear also has a full color screen. With this device, will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Venegear will debut in two months. Alright, let's get this game released. Oh, I, I just noticed something. I need to make a slight change. Come on, keyboard. Work with me. Work with me on this keyboard. Work with me. Thank you. What is going on with my keyboard right now is really bugging me. It's a very important change. This could mean 
Life or death. Sid Mayo's. No. There, Sid Mayer's. See, that, that, that was life or death when it came to this game. This game's gonna be a hit now, I can feel it, just because that one change. I didn't, I didn't, no, no, check, all right, release game, that's what I, that happened last time, still not my fault, they still, it's still a bootleg, and it's not the game I made, but, all right, let's see the reviews, oh, I'm seeing a lot of tens, played it for days, uh, see, I told you, it was gonna be a hit, the second I changed the name, yeah, they love it, oh, they love it, can't wait for a sequel, and it's beautiful. Ah, oh, is it? They, they love it. Sid Meier's Students is a fantastic game. They, they absolutely adored it. And do I get my 50? Oh, yeah, I got the 50 points. So now I can start doing custom AIs or custom things. Our post research analysis of Sid Meier's Students is complete, and we got the following results. School and simulation is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. And platform party, it's match. PC everyone, good. All right. So now, let's research custom game engines, because we have the research points for it. It'd be interesting if you could develop research points where research while researching. Today, the new game platform, Venegear by Venna, has been released. And we're done. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Your research is available. Game tutorials, better user experience, low letter, and mono sound. All right. We can't research any of those, though. So, awesome. Let's do some contract work. And maybe that'll let us get some more technical points. Let's do this one. I want to get enough research points for a new topic, at least. Come on, give me more research points. Come on. Sid Meier Students is now off the market. It sold 41,946 units and generated 293,664 in sales. And we have 850 fans. All right. Now let's go to contract work and do the last one available. And hopefully this will bring us up to 10 research points. Probably not. I'm probably going to be like one or two short. All right, three short, but whatever. Contract work. Oh, there's more. There's more. Fantastic. Let's. Let's do this one. News. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Oh, no. Not the G64. Oh, no. I'm not going to have enough time. What are you doing? You dick. Oh, no. I failed the contract. Because Sid Meier's decided to scratch his head for a week. Your job is riding on this, Sid. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Gavador, the creator of the popular G64, had filed for bankruptcy. Gavador failed to introduce a higher-priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire to the market early next year. Contract successful. Nice job. All right. We need one more point. Just one more. And this is all we got. So if you decide to scratch your head again, Sid, I'm going to fire your ass. Out on a street. So where are you going to go? Back to living in a trash can for you. The G64 is no longer supported. And we're good. All right, cool. So now we can research that new topic I wanted to do. Topic. Uh, so, ooh, cyberpunk. Ooh, I like the, the name of that. Proposition, uh, d decrypt it. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information with which might be interested to you. Um, no. Thank you, Agent Blowfish. I don't trust you.
You have successfully researched Cyberpunk. All right. Let's make a new game. Pick a topic. Let's go with Cyberpunk. Genre. Action. Platform. Tess. Well, Tess ain't doing too well right now compared to everything else. The gambling is destroying. All right. And it's going to be called Ice. Project Boom. Ice. Project Boom. It's going to be 2D. All right. Get working, Sid. You can do it. All right. Story and quest is not important. Gameplay is important. I'm going to turn engine down a bit. Coming this summer. Ice. Project Boom. You must stop a villain who is only known as the Ma from using some bomb thing or whatever from destroying the ice caps. It, it's got boom in the name, so sound's got to be important. Let's lower this a bit. And it's cyberpunk, so world design's got to be up. So let's lower, let's focus on world design for it. Lower these. Let's do that. Cyberpunk's got to have a nice world. Oh, Jesus, quite a few bugs. Any other points? Oh, 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 anything else? Ah, yeah, anything? Ah, ah, no? Okay, let's go. Ice, Project Beam. Did we level up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sid Mayer's leveled up as a person. All right. New research available. Open world. Ooh. All right. Let's research. We have 18. Let's research. What new topic can we get? Business? Nah. Um, mono sound, open worlds, level editor, better user experience. Let's do that. Better user experience seems important. The first reviews of our new release game, Ice Project Boom, came in. Let's see what we did. The focus on world design, sir. Okay, it's good to know. Quirky but good. Intended, as always. Enjoyable. Yes. Come on, give me a 10. Give me a 10. Ah, they liked it. That's fine. It'll come back later and be a cult classic. Even though it did okay in the market. I don't know why my voice changed to surfer dude there. It just kind of happened. You have successfully researched better user experience. All right. Generate a game report for ICE. Project B. You got to say it with that inflection. It has to be... It, you can say ice and project any way you want. It can be like ice project, but then you get to the boom and it has to be boom. Has to be. Or else we, we as Bioware, we can sue. It's in our legal right. Our post-release analysis of ice project boom is complete. And we got the following results. Cyberpunk and action is a great combination. Level design seems very important to this game. And platform genre mash touch action. Okay. Hmm. Got the hiccups. Oh. All right. Um. Let's do a virtual pet game. That'll be the next thing. And if we have the money, we'll make it for the gameling. Yeah. All right. New game. Topic, virtual pet. Genre, simulator. Platform, the gameling. Yes. All right, and it's going to be a, it's going to be for young kids, and it's going to be called the Taki Daki. Yeah, I went there. No. Tamadaki. 
Let's go with that. Sounds better. Rolls off the tongue more, you know? The Tamadaki. Sounds a lot better. Next? Alright, thanks. 2D graphics, of course, because that's all we got for now, but... I, I mean, I could have, I guess, made a text-based <laughs> virtual pet simulator. 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 I'm good with word speak talk time fun. Ugh. Ice Project Boom is now off the market. It sold 27,000 and 28 units generating 189, $224 in sales. I don't know why I skipped the thousands and hundreds there. I it just, uh, my brain stopped. Venna has announced that it will release a new gaming console in two months. The Venna Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound, and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Venna said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appear to a more mature audience. Okay. Level design is big, apparently. Uh, AI, not so much. Dialogues, nah. See, we need to give the virtual pet a bit of intelligence, or else we don't want it to just be like a brain-dead potato. It's got to be smart enough to do certain things on its own, because these are young kids. They need some help. Sound is important. World design, no. Graphics, we'll make that. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Man, five bugs. Still haven't beaten our record of seven. We were close that time, though. But our record for bugs in one game is seven right now. We'll get, we'll pass that eventually, by far. Any more bubbles? Technology, any more? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no? All right, let's release Tamadaki. Uh, leveling up, all that's left to get to, to three is story and quests, which we obviously don't care about. New research available, as, I, I just want to point this out because it just hit me, as Bioware, we don't give a shit about story and quests. <laughs> oh, I love it. Better dialogues. Today, the new game platform, Venna Oasis by Venna, has been released. The first reviews of our newly released game, Tamadaki, came in. See how it did. Oh, I see lots of... Oh, oh. Yeah! Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. Yes! Oh my god, is this gonna be it? Come on, come on, give me a 10. Ah, oh, I'll take it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me it, give me it, come on, come on. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Tamadaki is a massive hit! Bioware has officially been put on the map.